hello this is a quick video on my 1975 17 foot whaler um i did i did an update and restore on this boat back in 2022 and um, i'm in the process of doing one on an 18 whaler and that is why she's coming up for sale she's been a great boat for us and our family and um with just 57 hours she has a lot more life in her uh, she's on a uh, galvanized trailer um, I recently serviced her uh, the beginning of last summer. We do a lot of trips to Marco Island and uh, this past summer we went to Steenhatchee. So I wanted to make sure she was ro road worthy and she pulls great and um, never had an issue with her. And I put a, a spare tire in the, in the front of the boat so that, um, in front of the trailer so that, you know, just for added safety. She's a very simple boat and I'll go through the whole thing so you guys can see her and um, We'll go. We'll, we'll, we'll start out here in the, the outside. She was painted in all grip, uh, stainless steel insert um, rub rail. Um, I just did deck it uh, this past year. I, I, just, I did it when I first got the boat. I put in a, an off brand I wasn't happy, and, I, and this summer I put in deck it. I'm very happy with it. Um, teak uh, anchor locker cover. It will come with a stainless steel anchor. I'll show you that once I get inside the boat. It will come with all the ropes, uh, uh, life jackets, uh, throw cushion, um, all your safety gear will, will come complete. Um, it has a JL Audio, two JL Audio speakers with a little two channel amp. Works great, sounds great, really loud. And um, I can run it all day and never had an issue with batteries. LED navigation lights, I have mods to show you that they work. And then you have LED courtesy lights down there. And then this anchor light is removable and still stowed away. So it's very, um, the way I rigged it was very just minimalistic. And um, I'm in the boating business, so I know what breaks and how to keep things running as long as possible. So I bought this motor, took delivery of it in May of 2022. Um, I think she's at 76 hours. I'll show you the, the hour meter there. She got her first 20 hour service. And she's not due for her next one but um she runs great never had an issue with her very happy with the suzuki and i'm going to repower my 18 now with a just a bigger 140 150. So you do have a rule bilge pump it is automatic and manual i'll show you that working now when i get on the boat and the boat was rigged the engine was rigged by dusky marine here in fort lauderdale and uh, they did a great job rigging it and i'm um, very happy she's plenty powerful she pulls the kids on the tubes goes as fast as you need her to go and um very happy with that also the bottom is painted i like my boat's bottom painted because i do beach the boat so i don't like to scratch paint so i'd rather paint it with bottom paints easier cheaper to maintain this past season i just installed this uh shallow i think they call this um stay put anchor i just installed it used it once i'm going to sell it with the boat so basically um this this shaft here which i think is eight feet um basically drops in here so you can keep the boat or the, the back of the boat locked in at the sandbars you got a, a fuel filter um this is an 18 gallon fuel tank i mean plenty plenty you can run this boat for hours and hours with 18 gallons you're never going to feel the gas go through it so um that was a, a nice addition on that it's a buff tank it is um i put it in may of 2022 just fill it up from the top very simple this leaning post i did get it from bird saw marine um, very happy with it also the backrest is removable and you can store it so it keeps it out of the sun whatever and uh, you have some four rod holders back there and then you have this little cubby area to keep your um you know your dry goods um, i'm also going to sell the boat with the yeti cooler it's a 45 quart um yeti cooler and i had a little cushion made for her so um that's all set that's staying with the boat and then i put a, a nice bimini top um it folds away flat in the back and then you also i also put these um these poles so that if you don't want to have it laying down but you want to keep it like a kind of like an arch and fold it back you can do that also so um that's the way i have it and um it worked good so i'll jump on the boat here and just give you a little run through So this is a little GPS. It's a GPS with fish finder. Works perfectly. I keep it off the boat. Um, just remove these nuts and it comes off the boat and um, everything stows nicely. This is your, G your antenna for the motor so it can track speed and distance and all that stuff. 
So here's your 57 hours on the Suzuki, Seastar uh, hydraulic steering. And then here is your kind of your switch panel. So right now that's in, um, that's in auto. And then, I'm sorry, this is auto, push forward is auto. And then if you want to manually pump it out, you press it and it works. And then, um, so it's either manual, you know, off, that's off, manual or automatic. So I usually use the automatic when I leave the boat in the water for long periods. Um, this is just an on and off switch that can just kill the electronics and this controls the radio and the, the Garmin. So the, there is no, um, it's all Bluetooth with the radio, so there is no head unit. That's the way I wanted it, one less thing to break. Works great, loud, you just control the volume and everything from your phone. Courtesy lights, self-explanatory, on and off. And there are basically two courtesy lights, one on each side of the console, and then your nav lights, and then your anchor lights. So that's all there. And then under here is just uh, your single battery, rigged it with one battery. I just turn off the battery switch and I'm not using it, it stays fully charged for months. All this space, I usually put the life jackets in here with the throw cushion and um, and I got a little box that I take with, you know, the fire extinguisher and that stuff. And I hinge the door so I don't have to take out the whole door every single time. And uh, let me just show you up here the anchor. So it's a little stainless steel claw anchor with a rope. That'll go with the boat. Um, very happy with the boat. Uh, we took care of it. We love it. It's part of the family. I will take the name off the boat uh, once it officially sells and, um, and go from there. I'm, like I told you, I'm in the business. So when I sell the boat, I'm going to make it right. Any little thing that comes up or whatever, I'll make it right and take care of it. And I also will verify the, the warranty remaining on the motors. I believe it is five years. So May 22, um, it should go through May 27, but I'll, I'll call Suzuki on Monday morning and confirm all that stuff so that all that information's handy so if you have any questions don't hesitate to call me again my name is bobby my phone number is 305-308-0730 thank you